European champion, and then in blue from Italy. Yes, I heard he, he has an injury, and uh, that's why he's not here. Ah. Oh. Because everybody, lots of people around the stadium have been asking, well, where is uh, Rafael Aguilar? And do you know what the, the source of the injury is? is it a, uh, no, I don't know exactly. I just heard that he's injured. He, was, he tried to come, but at the end... Uh, well, let's hope he's uh, recovered for the World Championships later in Bremen, in Germany. But in the meantime, we have Luigi Buza in blue for Italy against... Stanislav Horuna from Ukraine in red. Yeah, Horuna is a very young, young fighter, and uh, he took a bronze medal in the European Team Championships uh, some, uh, for regions in 2013. Yeah. So he's trying to make his mark in the European Senior events and here he is in the final of the 49th European Championships in Finland. Yeah, the elimination he did also very good. He uh -huh. did a great great job and uh, but now Buza is a it's really a hard bit because it's very clever, very fast. Very and he's uh, Buza is in no hurry to enforce his uh, Superiority is current world and European champion. He has plenty of time. Again, as we were talking about four-minute matches, it used to be three-minute matches. Is that fourth minute really necessary? We've seen both competitors now. Passivity again, no action. What do you think? Is this something that you might review? Is it something that may be considered in the future? I think uh, now we had two matches that was good, but um, I think the... They will change it again back to, to the normal time because it's not used. No. And as we can see, we're now two minutes, uh, 23 seconds left of the match, and there's a little bit more action taking place. But often we have seen in the past where world titles have changed and win one in the last one or two seconds of a match because it is incredibly fast once, once uh, competitors get engaged properly. Yeah, that's it. He, he waited at the good moment and uh, he control he could um, control the fights and that's uh do we do what you have to do Sorry, Huruna just trying a Yushiro Gary but it moved past Buza didn't score Robert Amara, the referee. Robert Amara from Norway. Not convinced of any score. One minute, 37 seconds left. No score between these two. Minus 78 kilogram competitors. Luigi Busa in blue for Italy. Current world and European champion, but not doing enough. Not quite sure why he he's uh, not his normal fight. John Anzuki from Buza, but it just slips past the face of Huruna. Yeah, Huruna fights well against him, and uh, he don't let Buza do his score. Moving into the last minute of the match. No score from any of these fighters. Fast Jordan Zuki from Buza. Looked like, Juro Look like Jordan Yurakunuchi. Uh, Yurakunuchi, I think. But now we have also one flag for for uh, we have a, um, and, uh, a contested score contested. from Haruna. Yeah, I think they're looking for Chudanzuki at the same time. But for me, it looked as though uh, it looked as though Buza's uh, Jordan 
Jordanuch was a little bit faster. Yeah. There's the coach waiting pensively. But it was a very good, very good Jordan Uch from Jurakanucci. Yeah, the Gyatu is also but well. Yeah, the, I think that, that was correct in this way. And, of course, and there's only a, a millisecond between these techniques sometimes. So we have one point to each. We're in the last 25 seconds of the male minus 75 kilogram championships crowd wishing a point which isn't accepted by the judges John Anzuki again from Buza pulled away from the fighter and then delivered a fast John Anzuki takes in the lead now he's in the last 10 seconds 9 seconds Haruna so, getting a bit desperate to try and get back in here so they were very difficult against But again, Haruna falls back onto his back. And Buza gets a warning for it. Time is up. Luigi Buza takes the European title to add to his world and current European championship title to become the 48th.